Okay, hello guys, here is a new tutorial showing you how to uh, record a raw video with a Blackmagic camera or any other camera that can record a raw video and how to process that uh, with Lightroom and later in MPEG simply. So once you're happy with the result, so you basically you just changed one image, right? So you changed one image in the sequence and then you copy this. Then you copy all the settings that you just did, except the spot removal and the cropping. And then what you do is you select all the images in, in the sequence and uh, basically you just paste those settings over all the images and then you, you are good to go you click on synchronize and then you see there it's pasting the settings you will see the thumbnails are changing yep and then well, basically that's it so you changed you, you color corrected the video basically but frame by frame so you changed one frame that, that the way you want it to look like it and then you, you copied all that the changes you copied all over the other images You can resize it to full HD, which is uh, 1920. The resolution is 300 dpi. Yeah, that's basically for print, but doesn't really matter now. Just leave it like that and then export it out. It can take some time and then you export out the, the file. Next step you can do is uh, you go to MPEG Stream Clip. I don't remember the website. I think it's square.com or something like that. And then it's a free software. It's based on QuickTime, the, the previous QuickTime version, the QuickTime 7, not the QuickTime uh, new one. So with this version, you can uh, import sequences so image sequences so you basically you just choose one image that you see that these are sequences uh, and then it will import all the files which it can find in the folder so you just pick one the first one and it imports all
so basically we already have the video right so we just have to export it out as quicktime or as mpg4 but it's pretty much the same so you can set the compression to h264 and the resolution full hd you don't have a interlacing here just to make sure that you set it to lower field first but doesn't really matter because there's no interlace frame rate is 30 frames per second and actually i forgot to put here the limit date rate which is it will be very big now but you can put it to 20 30 megabit per second and just put it to some uh, you know desktop or something You can also export it out as a slideshow from uh, Adobe Lightroom, but it's more precise and better. You have more options, you, have, you can do more settings and everything if you do it the other way that I just showed you previously. So this is an easy way to do a, a slideshow, kind of like you do it in a photo app on the Mac, but uh, I don't recommend to do that. I just show you that this is also an option. A quick way to create a video. Here you can see the original files, so it's really overexposed and not very nice. And this one is the color corrected version, which is pretty much like a film.